Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about physiological salt solution. In most of the isolated tissue preparation or while doing the bioassay, we use physiological salt solution. The composition, procedure and precaution of physiological salt solution must know by each and every student. So what is this physiological salt solution? It is also called as the Ringer solution. This solution provides the nourishment to the isolated tissue because when we are doing bioassay, we are isolating the tissue from the intact animal. So the environment of the tissue will going to change. So to provide the environment which are similar to the internal environment, we use this uh, physiological salt solution and it provides all the necessary ions as well as the nutrition required for the tissue. There are various, type, various types of physiological salt solution, including the tyroid solution, crepe solution, digelon solution, then frog ringer solution, ringer locky solution, and make it one solution. The selection of solution or the choice of PSS is depend on the solution in which the tissue survive for a longer period of time. Then this table gives the composition of different physiological salt solution, the salts in gram per 10 liter of the solution. These are the different types of solution as we have discussed. And these are the ingredients which are included in this solution. And for each types of solution, the concentration of each ingredients are varies. And another thing is that not all the so all the ingredients are included in every solution. It depends on the solution. Some ingredients are included, some are not included. And at the end, the aeration is required for this preparation of this solution. Let's see what are the different uh, components, or what are the benefits of adding the different ingredient into the physiological salt solution. This solution is prepared into distilled water or ionizing water. Now first uh, we uh, add the sodium chloride. The sodium will provide the electrolyte levels in the tissue. This makes the solution isotonic by maintaining the osmolarity of the solution. Then another important ingredient is the potassium chloride. The potassium, it is plays an important role for the nerve conduction, then muscle contraction. It maintains the heart rate and the rhythm of the heart. Then calcium chloride, it controls excitement, excitation of muscle, nerves and glands. It also helps in maintaining integrity and permeability of the cell. Another component is magnesium chloride. It reduces the spontaneous activity of the tissue. It is important, it plays an important role in the neurotransmission in muscle contraction. Then bicarbonate, it acts as a buffer and maintaining the pH of the solution, which is important. Then glucose, it is a major nutrition for the tissue, which provides the energy as well as the nutrition supplement to the tissue. So what is the exact procedure for preparation of the physiological salt solution? First thing, weigh each indivi individual ingredient properly by using the analytical balance. There should be 1% error, it's uh, considerable, but it should not be there. The concentration which you are going to measure should be exact. After measurement, you have to add individual ingredient into the beaker containing the distilled or deionized water or double distilled water. All ingredients add one by one into the uh, water, dissolve each ingredient completely so that you can get a clear solution. After that, at the end, you can add the calcium chloride solution because uh, if you add the calcium chloride inside the solution, it will produce the turbid uh, solution. You will not get the clear solution because 
when you add calcium chloride into the solution it forms a reaction with the bicarbonate and the solution will get turbid or precipitation will occurs so this reaction will lead to precipitation or chelation inside the solution which can produces the turbid or opaque solution and from this turbid solution it will not provide the proper environment to the tissue and we cannot observe the tissue into the organ tube properly this is the reason why calcium chloride added at the end into the solution after that you should provide the aeration to the solution by aerator there are some important uh, important uh, factors are important function for providing the aeration this includes actually this containing 95% of oxygen and 5% co2 it is nothing than the carbogen this provides oxygen to the tissue then it helps in mixing the physiological salt solution it causes the loss of oxygen and pss become alkaline so this is how the pss is prepared and you should maintain the ph of the pss in between 7.3 to 7.4 so once the uh, pss is formed you can preserve the pss for 24 hours but it is recommended that whenever you need a uh, pss you can prepare it freshly for the biopsy purpose now different pss and their uses particularly thyroid solution they are used for mammalian smooth muscle preparation then frog ringer solutions are used for amphibians tissue and heart preparation crepe solutions are used for any type of the tissues digelon they are used for mammalian isolated organ and avian skeletal muscles then macuvin they are used for the same that is mammalian isolated organs and avian skeletal muscle so by this way this pss is very important and the exact proportion of the pss is required to give the maximum uh, responses in the biopsy and in the isolated tissue preparation so thank you if you need if you need such types of more videos please subscribe the channel like and share this video